All right, boys and girls, today we're going to head back to the range to test out this Fort Scott Munitions 190 grain tumble upon impact solid copper spun projectiles that I have loaded in this 300 blackout. We'll get a closer look in a minute. I used uh, 9.6 grains of accurate 1680 and uh, we're going to test that in some gel here soon. But first, let's take a look at the projectiles and I'll give you my thoughts. Alright, here's a look at the rounds. The weapon we're using today is a 10 and a half inch 300 blackout suppressed. These are subsonics. 20 inch YouTube friendly mag there. Here's a look at it loaded. See, look at it unloaded. It is neither a flat base or a boat tail. It's kind of an in between. And this is a look at one of the rounds I recovered after hitting steel. That is about the angle at which it hits steel at 100 yards shooting downhill. Now, my prediction is it's going to be a high dollar piece of junk and not work. But let's go find out. Alright, here's a look at our gel 6 by 6 by 16 times 2. This is from a previous shot. If you're tired of these subsonic tests, uh, you're in luck because this will be the last subsonic test for a while. We are going to go up to 300 blackout supers and 223. So stay tuned for that. A little windy, 100 yards. Here we go. That was either a pass through or a miss. Let's hit it again. I think that curved out. Let's hit it one more time. That sounded like a real good thud there. Let's go check it out. All right, here we are with a better look at the tumbling effect. Um, the way it veered off is kind of even if that shot veered off that's kind of a dangerous thing uh, I'm not really impressed with it uh, for the money I would just shoot solids if I was looking into something like that but that's just my opinion it did tumble as advertised but I'm not too impressed with it 